Hello, hello, hello and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to change the length of the nozzle in your PDK engine as well how to change the nozzle completely. First we have to take off the shell from your engine. Unscrew all the bolts holding it together. Take off the shell and put it aside. Hold the back of your engine and take off the front of it by unscrewing it. This is your nozzle. The threaded part behind it is used to adjust the length of the nozzle. The brass nut over it is used to lock the nozzle in place so it's not moving by itself when you're shooting. To take nozzle off completely, first we have to unlock the locking nut, the brass one. Hold the silver part behind it and unscrew it with your fingers. If it's too tight, you can use the spanner number 13 to unlock it. When it's loose, you can hold the threaded part and unscrew it when it's loose completely, simply take it off. To take out the nozzle from the threaded part, we have to push it out. Usually it's quite tight. You will hear a click. Now you can put it put back in the nozzle of your choice. Simply push it back in. Put it over the brass tube. When the threads will be touching each other, Screw it in to the length of your selection. By screwing it in, you will make the nozzle shorter. By unscrewing it, you will make the nozzle longer. So it will be touching harder on the backing and sealing it. When you will find your perfect length of the nozzle, simply hold the threaded part and lock the brass nut in place to secure it in this position. To lock it in place you can use as well the thread sealant or the um, Loctite product or simply use the pair of the spanners 13 and 15 to lock it in place. The 15 goes on the silver part the 13 goes on the brass locking nut to lock them. Then put the back front in. And put everything together into the shell to make some tests. I would not advise to use the Loctite until you're absolutely sure the length of your nozzle is set correctly, otherwise it might be quite hard to adjust it later. Thanks for watching and see you next time.